are you supposed to be? I'm vengeance. What's going on guys, Retax Mojo here for a wonderful day, got a new video for you guys. Today I'm going to show you how to install multi-track games for Dreamcast on your RG35XXH, which is actually a lot simpler than you think because you're actually not even using all the tracks. So obviously you need your device here, we're going to show you guys quickly all the games that are, are on here already. Don't worry about uh, Street Fighter 3 because I used that for my previous video that got taken down within like a minute of being uploaded so that was actually the one i used for the example so with that being said i'm going to do a different game and i'm going to show you guys like screenshots i can't show you guys the actual process but i'll try my best to explain every single step that you need with just like a quick five ten second screenshot or something like that i don't know i'll figure it out but yeah you do need an SD card reader with an adapter for your micro SD card or just a micro SD card reader. They have like ones that are like built in and all that. Uh, everything will be linked down below in the description if you want to check them out. And then just go like in store if you want Best Buy, Target, wherever and just grab one. But yeah, you need something like this for the micro SD card. Make sure your device is off. Take it out, put it in here, go into the PC and I'll see you guys there. Here comes a tough part, the PC portion that I can't show too much. So I gotta do screenshots for the most part. But here is our micro SD card plugged into our computer. You have the ROMs folder here on the left. Now we're gonna look for Dreamcast. Now, as you guys can see, these are all CHD file format. The tracks don't mean anything. Some of these have two tracks, three, four, however many. What you're going to need is the ROM for whatever game you want first. So hopefully I pop up a screenshot now of the site that I use it will be linked down below in the description, guys. I'm not going to say it, but you're going to go to there, hit the vault on the left side on the site, and look for Dreamcast and find the games that you want. Once you have it downloaded, I'm going to show you guys what that looks like because I have mine downloading that will take a couple seconds. So I'm going to cut to that where it's downloaded, guys. And then I'll tell you where to go from there. Actually, super, super quickly, guys, you are going to need another program which you'll see the screenshot there. I'm going to circle in post editing which one you want. Go ahead and download that while your ROM is downloading as well, just so you have it for the next couple steps here. All right, guys, so once we have our ROM downloaded, don't worry about the other downloads. Those are for the screenshots for the video, and then this is for a second video to update the firmware on the RG35XXH that we will be doing. However, we do have our Sonic Adventure 2 now ROM that I have. Go ahead and make a new folder right here, uh, Sonic 2, because you're going to need to extract this uh, zip file here to that folder. I put so nice, whatever. I know I've spelled it wrong, that's fine. It literally does not matter where my folder is, Chrome. All right, let that extract now. You're going to get a bunch of different files here. We're going to head into that when this is done. I'll show you guys what to do next. Remember that uh, program we had you download, that uh, DHC program? We're going to take the files from this folder and we're going to import one of them to change it to a CHD file format, which the RG35XXH Dreamcast uh, emulator uses. So this is done here in two seconds. Let's take a look right here. Perfect. So as you can see, we have, let me do this, a bunch of different track files the CUE and .gdi. So now you guys are going to see a screenshot of the program that I mentioned a couple seconds ago. You're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to circle it guys, what you need to do. Click that add files. You're going to add in that .cue file to it guys. All right, so go ahead and find that download. I'm on my left monitor now because I'm not showing you guys uh, what I'm doing here of course. For obvious reasons so go into that folder you just made the dot cue image file it should be like one kilobyte open it and now just hit select folder guys on the bottom there you don't have to click anything else go to your micro sd card go to the roms folder find dreamcast and select that folder and then just create chd now i'm not showing you guys the process but you will see it compressing on the bottom middle of your screen. It'll say zero jobs of one completed. When it's done, you will hear a ring that 
shows that it's done go ahead and view that report to make sure that it works guys you will see success on the bottom left of your screen or not the bottom left the bottom of the pop up there if it says successful that means it worked guys and then you are done mine's taking a little bit here i can uh i can cut it out but you guys are just seeing the screenshot of the program probably or something else i honestly have no clue i'm not trying to get this taken down guys but mine's currently at 65 percent. so if it's taking a little bit longer uh, more than likely it's going to work but that's really it guys it's super simple super easy the track files do not really matter in this instance because that cue even though it's one kilobyte it kind of encompasses the whole thing for dreamcast so that's how you know um, it's going to work so let's see the report mine says successfully created so now guys go ahead and close everything out and safely eject your micro sd card i just want to tell you guys super super quickly if you don't see it in the folder that means you actually don't have enough space the program is not going to tell you that but when you go to turn on your device and the game is not there that means that you have no space so i deleted my other game that i had the street fighter and i just uh replaced it with sonic 2 so i'm actually going to go ahead and rename this sonic 2 just so we know for certain that it works so yeah now it's in here but like i said if it's not just go ahead and delete like one game from whatever you know rom you uh, don't use like you just go through whatever uh go through the arcades or something like that that you're never gonna play and just make the room for it so yeah that's why if it doesn't show up you have no space the program is not going to tell you that though so now we go back to the rg here and let's see if it worked this time all right guys with the micro sd card safely ejected let's go into our dreamcast here let's go ahead and look for sonic 2 right there guys loading up and if you look at that program it'll tell you that it has like three tracks or like the report at the end it'll tell you like three tracks were made into the one here so let's go ahead and take a look now guys and see if this did work and you will know if it worked guys if the actual game opens up if it doesn't you'll get like a dreamcast logo and it'll tell you like four different uh things like add files or something like that or audio you'll get a bunch of different things if the game does not open up you will see that so sonic adventure 2 guys that's it super simple super easy guys new file sure why not guys and there you go dreamcast multi-track games on your rg35 xx age guys if it was helpful be sure to drop a like if you guys do need any help i have a discord in the bio uh description i mean sorry of this video if you guys want to join it you're more than welcome to chat with me there i can help you out and i can actually post my other uh full video that i have over there if you want me to so yeah guys that's going to wrap it up if you did enjoy drop a like subscribe to your channel if you're new to my guys and wonderful day peace